To survive this war, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good goddamn sense to do whatever's necessary. I can teach you the first. The second is up to you. All right, here we go. Thanks, Lambert. I am terrible with horror games. I get way too scared and give up easily. Having a gun is nice though. Perfect. Okay, some safety? I have my friend Artroxa with me, for about the first half of the playthrough. So you'll be hearing his voice as well. A locked door. However will I get through? Ah, of course, the ever-trusty tutorial brick. And here comes the epic throw. That's how it's done, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. Jesus, I am dying in the tutorial. Thanks, Lambert. You're a real pal. So too cloth makes a bandage. Wow, even made the container and everything. Grenades are probably a tad stronger than a helmet. This is way too enclosed a space. It was nice knowing you ears. Damn, these wooden bunkers are strong, huh? Okay, there's a red barrel there. I understand, I've played video games. Oops. Oh shit, it's like slow reload. I love revolvers, but yeah. Oh, but are you scared yet? Granada? Oh shit. Not good, not good. Okay, what do I do? Where are you? I'm here! Oh no. Well, looks like this is the end. It was a short game, but... Lambert, you absolute legend. I'm with you, buddy. my friend there you have it huh ah fate's a bastard i'm on patrol tonight then said i you i'm alone again this seems like a really bad idea Surely, I shouldn't be patrolling alone. I don't know which side these guys are. I don't know about this place.
That's a big hole. Almost as big as your mom's. Okay, so what do I do here? Oh shit, if you stare into the darkness long enough, some darkness is gonna stare back at you. How did you get down here? Well, I'll carry you then. We don't leave our boy Lambert behind. Just hold on to me. Throw him down. <laughs> oh my god, the monsters are gonna come now. I bet. Oh, never mind. It's a German. Basically, monsters, though. Ooh. Wait, so Lambert is dead? I don't know. That's weak. Okay, I'm putting in my prediction now. Lambert is the monster. He was the monster all along. There's a lot of blood, but I guess that's war. And there's no one around. Very quiet. July 10th, 1916. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of July 9th. Personal effects held in a storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Oh, this is me. I'm Clement. Henri Clement, right? Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events, had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Josinski. I'm changing my prediction. Dr. Josinski is the monster. Maybe the real monster is war. Did you ever play any of the old Amnesia games, like Penumbra or...? I've only played a few hours of Amnesia Rebirth. Uh... Hello? Okay, at least I won't be in total darkness. Charge the flashlight, don't make too much noise. Okay. Beyblade. Pretty cool. 9th of July, 1700 hours. This is me. I'm in a state of agony. 
It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. What the hell did I do? Well, fuck me. Okay, an office? July 14th, 1916. Body of Sergeant Reynard. Multiple lacerations. Chest cavity torn to shreds. Every rib cracked. Skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? Who or what? This is the surgeon's office then, I guess. At least I hope it is. What the hell? What the fuck is that? Maybe Reynard? Oh, hell no. Did he makeshift a damn incinerator in his closet? Fuel. Yeah, I guess he did. Hey, bud. You're in a rough spot, but don't lose your head. The hell is that? It's like a heart. Skull. Oh shit. Okay. Less scary. Why burn them? Was there something infectious? I don't know about that way. Guess I need a key. Dining area? We got some big rats. Hello? Hello? Ugh, children. That's the true horror here. Be gone, children. <laughs> Anything creepy hiding under the tables? Oh, way. No. He's over there because he's a monster. Maybe he's friendly. Could you speak up? You know my name, but who are you? You want to escape. You need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere. In the excavation site. Get them, then you can make it out. Oh, oh fuck. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off. Please. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. Sure. Whoever you are. Get it. Do the job, please. Okay, I'm on it. 
We're gonna do it. Oh my god. He seems half dead, so better me than the monster, I guess. I will, just give me a sec. One each? Huh. Two bullets, that's good. One for- Oh my fucking god! Okay, well, I guess you don't need a bullet for him now. This might sound cruel, but... At least he might keep the monster busy for a while. The war is still raging on up there. At least we know the monster is small. Do we know that? I don't think we know that. Not this way. Uh, maybe you can shoot the lock? Yeah, I was thinking that. Cover your ears. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, run! <laughs> no! <laughs> We're okay. I think. Oh. Let's keep moving. An eye patch? Oh, no, no. V. Batiste. Important. When processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Q Frillo, head clerk. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a huge ass bunker. A huge bunker to be terrified in. So is this like a safe room? Records and stuff? I don't feel very safe. So I'm up there, at the red pin. Generator? Oh, can I turn the lights on?
Frillo. He was the head. Something. Code for some lock? Okay. You can power the generator by filling it with fuel and pulling the lever. Well, I probably want to do that. Will it make a lot of noise, though? Pocket watch. Wait, didn't you find one of those fuel boxes earlier? Yeah, I did. So the monster hates light. Good to know. Petrol, highly flammable, for use in the generator. Yeah, but where do I pour it? To the left, I think. Oh, gotcha. Just off camera so they don't have to animate liquid. Nice one. It filled it up nothing. Are you kidding me? Well, at least it works. Can I not have that bandage? I guess he used it. A pocket watch with stopwatch functionality can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. That's cool. Order to all men. The beast hunts in the dark. The light is our only chance and the generator our only hope. It must be kept fueled at all times, day and night. A continuous rotation of runs to the main fuel supply must be maintained. Watch each other's backs, keep each other safe. Do not let the light go out, for all our sakes. Oh my fucking god, this game. <laughs> I mean, it didn't seem to do them much good. But I'll keep it in mind, I guess. Is this not fuel? It's heavy like it's full. I can't read what it says. Okay, well we got some light on, that's good. No monster, I guess. It's still pretty damn dark in here. The hell? Can't believe they didn't put an RPG in there. You can save your progress by lighting this lamp. Oh, that's a cool save system. Maybe. It means I'll be running back here a lot. I'll leave a couple things here so I have some inventory space. Expired meat should not be consumed by soldiers. Better used to attract rodents and other bunker pests. Can I distract the monster with it? I think I'll be leaving that on. It's stuck on something. Ah, I can lock myself in here. That's good to know. Smart. Oh. I got a code from Frillo. 0799. Easy enough. Oh, yeah. 
You can overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Okay, that's cool. I don't really know where I'm going just yet. Have not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last. But in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit. The only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please, extend me the same courtesy. Something tells me it's too late for you, bud. So I need a plunger and the dynamite. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? One bullet. That's on. Yeah. I do wonder though, if keeping more of them on drains the generator quicker. Mission storage could be useful. Oh, this is the blocked door. Okay, but now it's in the way of the corridor. Maintenance. Gel bear. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. You were saying about it being small? Uh. What a weird place to keep a gas tank. July 14th, 1916. Night. Strange scratching sounds a few moments ago, and now it sounds like someone is pacing in the hallway. Probably Reynard, drunk on the stash of wine I know he hides from us. Best I confront him now. Either get him into bed to sleep it off or convince him to share a bottle or two with me. July 15th, 1916. Cold fear runs through all our veins now. Fournier has terrorized the men for answers. They say they were asleep until Reynard screams. I believe them, of course. Fournier went so far as to accuse prisoner 73014 of escaping his cell and committing the murder. Impossible. I worry about Fournier, his rage hides fear. He takes it out on the men and I can see no way to stop it. It breeds contempt. My mind slips back to the moment Reynard started screaming. How easily it could have been me. How easily it still could be. For the first time I wish the order to attack would come. I would rather face a thousand German guns than this nameless dread. To any who find this, Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He's lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee. Flee. We must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run, to blow up the exit behind him. Sealing the demon down here, the demon and our men. His constant refrain, it is getting to me. And that same void of terror, it is also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free of this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it and I will radio it back to you. Trapped down here with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do. All I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldier quarters. Hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. Jow bear. We're in the quarters now I think, so it shouldn't be too far from here. 
Oh, fuck me. What the fuck? Oh! Musical Records. Wow, what a creative name. Rar to you too. Okay. Uh, mm. We gotta go out eventually. No. Take the gun out. Who knows if a gun will even hurt this thing? Fuck me, no way. While well, I'm making noise, and it's not coming. Oh. It's booby trapped. Can I not take it? Hmm. Doesn't that wall just attach to the corridor? Place to hide, I guess. June 30th, 1916. From V. Delby to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett and others. After raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014 I would like to hold. Before capture he ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Well, they're probably all dead now. Well, I am so fucking scared right now. Sorry if I'm being silent. May 2nd, 1916. From Sergeant Jaubert to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett, engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Roman tunnels. They are as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical of this last point. But they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels we found urns, Latin texts etc. We'll do our best to preserve some materials for posterity. Updates to follow. Old Roman ruins? I wonder if they have something to do with what's happened here. Waking up in ancient horror perhaps. And that's where the plunger is too, so we're definitely going down there. Reynard. Locked. Fournier. This thing has dug tunnels everywhere.
Yeah, the power went out a while ago. They chained him up? After he went crazy, I guess. Situation report. After Trembley's death, the bunker descended into chaos. I've retaken control and ordered the men to form up in squads. They're to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible. They tell me the bullets don't kill it. They only buy a little time and the beast comes back angrier. Cowards. I've sent them back out now to do as they should. Hunt and kill it. If they fail, they'll face a worse fate than claws in the darkness. If they fail, they're all dead. I have ordered increased security for the arsenal. Lock and code and I will root out those responsible for this horrendous act. Justice will be done. For France. I assume that's about the first guy who was killed. So bullets don't kill this thing, but they do buy some time. Need a hand there, bud? Ugh. Sorry. Nope. I'm sure it's fine. What? Oh, it was the cupboard. Oh, smart, smart. Let's see you get through that. A lounge, all right? Is there a single room it hasn't tunneled into? Floating boxes, perfectly normal. I can't get in. No. Oh. oh, nice. More inventory space. Oh, that's good. May 15, 1916. From Soldat LaRue to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett, I am now putting into writing what I have reported to both of my immediate superiors. Last evening, May 14, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again, it was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted. Like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. 
I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. I don't like these paintings. Oh! It sounds like there's some kind of portal in the Roman tunnels. I'm starting to get the impression that these sounds have nothing to do with where the monster actually is. Oh, fuck, what the? How are you more scared than me right now? Oh. What the hell even got me? Okay, the corridor spontaneously combusted. Jesus Christ, this game, Philly. P. Corsi. P. Corsi? <laughs> Emergency lockdown. Can I lift the lockdown? Does it need power? From Fournier to Foreman Stafford. This is our fourth formal request for a resupply of wine. The cellar is running low. I fear the reaction among the men and my fellow officers if we're forced to implement harsher rationing. I'm already fielding complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale, and morale runs on wine. My initial request was 10 crates. So far, we have received two. Fix it. Can't get through here. Oh. I need something to pry it off with. No, don't come for us, monster man. If it comes, I'll bite it in the face. You got this, you got this. Okay, let's not go that way. Oh. Okay, that one was loud. It's fingering the hole. Didn't I come in here already? I thought this room was downstairs. I've disoriented myself. Oh wait, this is where the guy was? 
How have I wound up back here? I'm going insane. Then we're back to the medic area. And this is my safe room, right? Oh no, you locked that door, remember? <laughs> I unblocked this one, though. Home sweet home, I guess. Right. Dynamites in the arsenal. Oh, the soldier quarters are the other way. I was in the officer quarters. Hmm. Oh, did I miss this note? Oops. Warning. Generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. Yeah, fire down here would be pretty bad. You don't want it filling the bunker with smoke and burning up all the oxygen. I'm surprised the surgeon got away with his makeshift furnace to be honest. All right, let's get this thing filled back up. Hello? Canister? You're a shy one, huh? Man, they really don't fill it up much. I'll turn this back on just before I leave again. Let's figure out exactly what we're gonna do here. It seems like we should be going to the soldier quarters first, so we can get the code to the arsenal. So that's past the mission storage room, which we can also check out. I'm also wondering if I should save the fuel a bit more. It wasn't too difficult moving around the officer quarters in the dark. Just a bit spooky. Whoa. So this is mission storage. Which is locked. Can I get in through here? Poor little guy. Can't interact with this thing. Noise is dangerous. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Any frightening monsters in here? Gas grenade, hmm. Can I choke the monster? Or is it just for hiding? Oh wow, shotgun shells. I definitely want a shotgun. Night oh, it's July. me again. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged. As if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? 
D do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. I still don't know what I did. Can't read it through the grate. Guess I need to find everyone's codes then. Fortin. 3544. Which one is Fortin's? Jesus. Should probably check them all, just in case any are unlocked. Okay? <gasps> Lambert. Our buddy. Oh, here's Fortin. What was it again? 3544. Oh, this one's unlocked. Nothing in it, though. Fuel is good. And just cloth. Was Frillo's just for the door? Or maybe for his locker, too? Why would he not have a locker? I would very much like that fuel. I am so fucking on edge. OX to drop. Did something just rattle that door? I guess I could lock myself in here as well. But it could probably get in through the vent. That's where I need to go. Oh, here we go. I can lift the lock down. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem up to code. I put a mark on my map, apparently. Guess I need to find a new wheel. Yeah, this is locked too. Hmm. I don't remember seeing one anywhere. Shit, it's almost full.
No wheels in here. Weird how there's no lights in here. We do have the lantern though. Okay, so I guess the goal is to find a wheel to stop the emergency lockdown so you can get into the communications room. Maybe it'll be easier to spot now that we have some light and I know what I'm looking for. I didn't get into that room, did I? Still not sure why I can't just pick it up, but okay. Oh. Bible. God can't help us now. Damn, not much in here. Why is this thing so indecisive? Wine cellar. Getting drunk sounds pretty good right now. Can I just kick this off? All out. Well, that's not good. Where the fuck are we gonna find the wheel? That's a good question. Uh-huh. Oh. So we need to find this guy's code. Delisle. Maybe in all the burnt bodies? Not seeing anything. I already looked in those. Not sure how to get through chains. So I hope it's not in there. Maybe he has a root. Although I think you were. Oh my god. I think you were in all of the rooms though.
No, the left. Left of his body. Oh, I didn't even see that. Just what we needed. Oh, you can the monster fuck off, please. Zero nine one one. What the fuck is that creepy music though? All right. Now don't break. Good progress. I should not be taking detours. I'm too curious for my own good. Okay, that was a frame drop. Loading the area, I guess. I don't know about these noises. What? Oh, fuck me. No! Not good, not good. At least we turned around. Run, 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 run. Oh my fucking god, run. No, <laughs> no. Welp. That's annoying. That was scary as fuck, girl. Oh my god, what? He's a stealthy boy. Guess I'm running into the prison again. Did it stop? I need to heal. Well, I guess he gave up. What was that? Oh, there's a prisoner here? It sounds really close by. Can't close this. Damn. That must be horrifying. He can't even see. Having a little snack? That's just disgusting. Huh? 
Hi there. She's evaded the scan. I don't know how to open this, I'm afraid. Jesus, Mina. Would not want to be you right now. Everything's locked. And there's a map in there. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Oh, there's the cell door controls. Need to find a way in there then. Okay, let's get this code. And I'm still hurt. Of course it's locked. Attention. The power in this part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain. The subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, like when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly to Reynard. Foreman Stafford. Hmm. I'd better just switch them all on then. Oh. Does a red cross mean it's booby-trapped? Yeah, seems like it. None here. Don't have long for the generator. What the fuck is that sound? Sounds like weird music. Well, of course it's locked. Yeah. It looks like these daisy chained wires are a kind of puzzle. God damn, it's dark. Oh, a tripwire. Flare? Mist. I need that fuel, please. I also need a bandage, though. I'll drop the gas for now. Like that. May 5th, 1916. From Johannes to Amanda Nicolay. Dearest, thank you for the package. 
I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion and am keeping the photo close to my heart. It's been weeks now since I've been called for any combat action, but a new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night, I woke with a chill. A strange sound was emanating from deeper in the bunker. A kind of moan, a cry, perhaps a howl. I went to investigate and found myself standing at the entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. I dared not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. And then a scrambling thudding came racing towards me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadows. I reached for my sidearm ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He'd been awakened as well. But unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He says he saw something there. As we stood at that maw, listening, the howling, 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 grew distant, receded to where I dare not guess. Perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there is something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please write me again soon. Love to you, Johannes. Not looking forward to these Roman tunnels. It definitely seems like the monster came from there. April 30th, 1916. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes there are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack. As if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We are all always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels though. A little dash of antiquity would liven the place up. It'd certainly help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. May 9th, 1916. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them of course, but the truth is these texts are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. May 11th, 1916. This morning Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a time but considered him one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I have been going over the texts and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latinate at least, but what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture, from any era. The texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated. To cross into the darkness beyond. And then something about sight. May 13th, 1916. Haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a means to immortality, and to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world, one dominated by darkness and ruled by. I don't know, they use words I can't translate. Ruled by something. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and the sickly rattle of souls near death. That is what they were using the tunnels for. For them it was a doorway, into some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight, need to sleep before then, but then I'm back at this. Wow, that was a very interesting note. If you knew nothing of the amnesia lore, it might have been a little confusing. Our character Henri here doesn't know what he just read, but I do. I don't know how much further the game will explain this lore, so I'll keep my mouth shut for now. Just remember that some cult was using the Roman tunnels to pass through to another world, to acquire some substance, used to achieve immortality. Oh no! No! I'm not here. You saw nothing. Oh god, oh shit. Locked door. Please leave. I'm worried if I move across it'll see me.
Come on, go away. Oh no. Okay, time to run. <laughs> It and close the door. Okay, I think it stopped. Mm. And with that heart attack, I think that's probably all for today. We know what we have to do and where to do it, more or less. Pretty spooky, huh? Girl, I, uh, <laughs> I will not be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking scary. <laughs>